this year we're going to try uh, just a few different ways. Uh, I've got a few different ideas. Uh, what I've done in the past was use these boards that I had and uh, to make the one foot squares. They're old, but they still work. Um, got a couple more different ideas that I want to try in the other beds. I'll show you. Just experiment. Uh, any way will work. Um, all it is is marking out the squares for you to make it easier to place them in the square fit. In this uh, four by six bed, uh, we're going to try something as simple as mason string. Again, all we're doing is marking out the one foot squares to make it easier to plant. I've got screws put in. I'm just going to wrap it around and make a grid. Very simple. It's what I already have. Just tied a loop in this string, hooked it around the screw, and I'm just going to loop back and forth to make my grid. simple, pretty quick. Then get to the end, tie another loop. Hook it on my screw and I got my loops this way. Now I'll do the same thing this way to make my grid. Now I've started here and hooked on my screw Went around and made this part already. And uh, do the same thing, only across now. Make the loop, hook it around that screw, cut it off, tie it off, and I've got the grid. Simple, cheap, it's what I already had. Just another way to mark it out. One by one squares. Okay, this particular one, a little bit more involved, a little bit more costly, but it's an idea I've been thinking about for a long time. I want to use some half inch schedule 40 cross tees, half inch caps, and then half inch schedule 40 PVC. And uh, I'm going to cut little short straight nipples, glue in, and make the grid. So it's one by one. Have a PVC grid all glued up caps on the end, caps on the end of every one but one. Then I'm going to come up and offset and over, let it stick out and put a male hose connector on it so I can screw the hose to. Maybe even hook it up to a timer at, at later. And during the dry seasons, uh, if I hook it to a timer during the dry seasons while I'm traveling for my job, um, I don't have to worry about it being watered. Well, my cuts need to be 11 and a half inches. Got it set up. We start cutting away. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of cleaner and uh, just to help the glue joint. Just gonna 
show you what I'm going to do for a couple of them and uh, then I'll shut it off and glue them all up and come back and show you what part of it looks like. Or 11 and a half inch piece and uh, I'm using this board and I'll show you what I'm using it for here in a minute uh, that's one and then when I do the next one I'll use the board and uh, we'll use it to make it straight and then we'll just lay it down and that way it's nice and straight for the fittings here's our progress so far we got two legs screwed up and I got enough three here so once I cut a couple more then I can glue this on and that will have the internal okay here's our grid it's all glued up and uh, end caps on, laid out our one by one square.